So today we're going to be making a very unique noodle called kao lao lao or yo mian, which is uh, basically translates to oatmeal noodle in Chinese. And the noodle dish comes from northern China in the Shanxi province. And the reason that these noodles were made from oats was because uh, it was actually started up in the mountains where not a lot of things were growing. Like basically wheat was not widely available, rice was not widely available, but uh, things like potatoes and things like oats grew really well up there. So they, they, they created uh, this dish. And what's, I mean, what What's entirely unique about it is one, it's made from oats, which I don't ever see that often uh, with Chinese cooking. You know, most things are wheat, most things are uh, rice, but also it's very unique in how it is formed essentially these tubes of noodle. Um, people will have like a tile like this in their homes, actually take a piece of dough, smear it across the tile so that you have like a long strip and then um, take take it in between both of their fingers, flip it around, and then they end up having this tube of noodle. And then, you know, they'll, they'll put it in a steamer like this and they'll steam it. And so a lot of people will say it, it looks like a honeycomb, but essentially it's, it's like a ton of tubes. So I really can't wait to show you guys uh, this recipe. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make the dough. And the dough is just gonna be equal parts oat flour. So this is just some some oatmeal that I ground up in the food processor and then um, equal parts water. So let me just measure this out. Water needs to be boiling. It needs to be hot. So I guess 200 grams of flour and then I'm going to put in 200 grams of um, boiling water. So I'll just do a little bit at a time first. So I think the reason it needs to be boiling is this technique is used a lot in, I guess like Chinese cooking I see a lot of, where the boiling water releases some of the starches from the grain first. So whereas typically when you're working with oat flour, it's gluten free, right? So it's really hard. It's, it's, it's hard to manage after a bit. It starts to break apart, but the boiling water is going to activate some of the starches. And then when you go to kind of knead this, roll this out, form it, it's going to, it's going to have some structure to it because that, um, that starch is at play and binding everything together. I'm just gonna drag the dough over. It's been it's been resting for a couple of minutes, and usually that time is just for the the oats to really like hydrate. Time time does that, and so you'll find the difference between a dough that seems sometimes like a little bit overly dry at the beginning to dough that is um, actually you know quite quite wet uh, afterwards. So slightly slightly gritty so I'm gonna add like a drop or so of water because I don't I don't want to mess around with this uh, recipe too much okay so I'm just gonna spend a couple of minutes just kneading this together just to make sure that everything is mixed all of the dough is hydrated Okay, so I've rested the dough uh, just for about 10 minutes or so. And how you know it's the right texture is this, this is actually my first time making it as well. But remember what we're saying is the way that you form it. It needs to be of the texture where it's not, you know, uh, too, too dry because we're gonna have to smear it and then pull it back. So uh, I'm actually gonna just get a couple of these into really uh, small, small balls like this. I wanted you guys to see, I mean, it's not, it's not sticking at all, but it's moist enough, but not, not too moist. It's like a very well-behaved 
I don't know, Play-Doh, I guess. Okay, like a marble board like this, but I think if you guys had something like a silicon mat, um, that's really going to work as well. And so I'm going to just, I'm going to smear this across. And then what you do is you flip. <laughs> All right, that, that just broke, hold on. I feel like maybe, <laughs> okay, cool. And then they flip it back like this. I have a tube looking like this. Okay, so I'll, that was a bit thick. but it'll, it'll be something, it'll be something like this again. Um. Okay, so the Kaolalaos are finished. They look really pretty. I think it took a little bit of time for me to like understand how wide to make it, how long to make it. So I actually recorded it for you. Uh, each of the balls that I made were seven grams. They were two and a half inches wide and I think like three inches long. Uh, for that flip over. So in case if you guys wanted um, wanted a little bit of a, a reference to that. So technically these are cooked right now, but you're supposed to steam them for anywhere from six to eight minutes. During that time, I will just make a really quick dipping sauce and then uh, we can go and try these out afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna do the usual suspects here. Nothing, nothing too fancy. A little soy sauce. Chanking vinegar, so salty, sour, some minced garlic, have some chilies for color, uh, just a little bit of sugar to balance off everything. We can do peanuts, we can do, I don't know, something else. Water to thin it down. Recipe's all gonna be kind of down below for this. So yeah, this can be our, our dipping sauce. Ooh. So you have this, um, and then we'll just be dipping them into the dipping sauce. Oh, that looks so good. actually quite cool. Um, the taste itself is actually, I'm, a lot of people say that it's like nutty, it's, it's kind of, you know, grainy. Um, I'm actually just so surprised that it doesn't really taste like oatmeal. It just, it, it, it tastes like really good pasta. Um, probably like, like a buckwheat pasta or something, but there's some like good, there's some good chew too. I mean, it, it kind of just tastes like pasta. It doesn't taste like gluten-free pasta. Um, and the good thing is completely made of oatmeal, which is very, very good for you. 
Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this recipe. I thought it was just so cool uh, to make and I hope you guys do try it. And uh, if you guys wanna see more recipes like this, more cool recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye. Thank you.